Hey guys, today I'm going to be giving you a review and also doing a little bit of vlogging with the Ceramonic Smart Mixer. So for most vloggers, the Rode Video Micro has really become the standard for miking a vlog. It's great for run and gun and it has really great quality. It does everything that I need it to do, certainly, with one important exception. And that is that a lot of times what we need is um, the ability to mic the person holding the camera, but also the person that we're filming. It's very common actually in vlogging and especially the type of vlogging we do where there's a pair of us. There's a, a husband and a wife and we're doing a lot of photography and video and we're doing a lot of run and gun. It's not always super easy to lav mic both of us, but this Rode Video Micro is not a great solution either because of the unidirectional aspect. It's only going to get one of us, one of us at a time. So what you get is a little bit of a muddy audio when the person hold, holding the mic feels a need to do a little bit of voiceover or commentary. Um, and I really, I really hate that. So I've been trying to find a better solution. I know that a DSLR video shooter came out with a video not long ago where he's actually got two of these, and I think that's really an ingenious setup. Um, but I've been in the market for another kind of out of the box solution, and this is what, um, what I found to try, and that's what I'm gonna be reviewing today, the Ceramonic Smart uh, Mixer. So I'll go over some of the features of this in a moment, but the main thing I wanna draw your attention to is, the, is are these two microphones on top, which can be swiveled any direction. What I wanted to try using this for was to vlog um, with the front pointing obviously towards the talent or you know whoever's being filmed and then this pointed back at myself as a, as a voiceover um, input. Seemed like it had potential for a vlogging setup um, so I took this out last Saturday just to test it out uh, with my daughter. We had a little bit of a daddy-daughter date, went on a hike, and as always, uh, with the goal of really capturing great photos, that was the primary goal, but then also just documenting it through video. She says a lot of cute things, and so I thought, well, what a, what a great opportunity to try out this mic. Before I get into any of the, the details on this, what do I think, who it's for, um, some of the features, that sort of thing, first off, I wanna cut to that montage of uh, our little hike so you can hear for yourself what, what I was able to capture with it, see some of the video and photography, and I'll catch you on the flip. Hadley. Great. Do you like this hike? Mm hmm After we're gonna go to McDonald's. Um This is the coolest picture in the world. 
It is? Why did you stop? <laughs> okay, should we go back? Hadley? Yeah. Should we go back to the car now? You're too tired? Carry me. <laughs> no, we're not carrying you. So hopefully you enjoyed that and you got a little bit of a taste or a flavor of what this Ceremonic Smart Mixer can do. Um, I will say that I did not have dead cats on, the, on these mics and so that obviously is going to make a pretty big difference. I normally would, um, but I just hadn't, haven't got any yet for it. I did apply a little bit of audio correction just to get rid of some of that wind noise. Um, but overall, I, I'd say that's pretty true to what you're gonna get. The Video Micro is, is better audio quality, it certainly is. So you won't get as good audio quality with this little guy, um, but uh, it's fine for my needs. When you're run and gun vlogging, that's what it's for and that's what it does well. And with that in mind, this is actually the setup that the Ceremonic Smart Mixer was designed for. In the package, it comes with this nice grippable handle and it squeezes onto your phone um, really well. It's got the, the cold shoe mount so that the Ceremonic mixer can mount on top. And then, and then here you have the Android audio cable, it comes with the XLR cable and also um, the iPhone cable uh, so that it can attach directly to your phone. So it's pretty flexible. It's got everything you need as far as jacks, the phone jacks, um, headphone jack. Uh, in this case, so I guess I have it in the wrong jack. You'd want it in the phone jack to the Android with the Android plug that comes with it. And then, you know, if, you, if you're one to vlog on a phone, this is, this is a really great setup. Then you can swivel these mics if you're, if you're just wanting it towards yourself and you're going to be filming that direction and talking voiceover, then there you go. And if you need to flip them around to just, to just focus on the person in front of you, that works also, and again, you could just flip one back at yourself if you're having both a conversation with somebody. And that works really well. It also has a, a nice um, volume leveler, um, so you can, you can adjust your peaks uh, right here. I'm not gonna go into every feature of this because uh, I'm not super technical when it comes to audio. Um, I'll just say that, that I recommend this if, if you're someone who needs the flexibility of pointing audio one way or another. Sure, the audio quality is not going to be the same as what you'll get with the Video Micro, um, but on the other hand, it, it will be better if you need audio going both directions. Overall, you're going to have and experience better audio, and so for that, I'd recommend it. Um, the, the drawback, though, is that it does take a 9-volt battery. And that is the one problem I had with this, I guess, as far as cons, only two cons. Uh, one is that it's very, very difficult to get this thing open um, to, uh, to load your battery in it. I, I struggled with it for <laughs> quite a while and actually had to use a flathead screwdriver to help me get that open to put that 9 volt in it. In addition, it feels to me or it sounds to me like it tends to pick up sounds from the camera. Um, or in this case, the phone. I don't know, I haven't really tested with the phone. But when I had this attached to my GH5, um, uh, as you, you might have heard in the, in the audio when I was out with my daughter, it seemed to pick up noises from the camera, me fumbling around with it. And I tend to, as you can see, I'm not the most stable shooter in the world, and I tend to just go with that and flip it around and, and just kind of use it all over the place when I'm filming. Um, 
but there was a lot of noise that that created that this picked up that because the video micro is on this nice little, uh, uh, I don't know what it's, the stabilizer, this plastic stabilizer, this doesn't pick up nearly as much as this cold shoe mounted ceremonic. So just keep that in mind. You'll wanna be gentle with holding the camera or it's gonna pick up your noises of your fidgeting around with your device. So that's all for now. Uh, in general, uh, I'm, I definitely gonna, I'm gonna keep this and I'm gonna use it for my photo duels. Other times where I need to mic both myself and one other person that I'm filming. So, uh, but what I will get is I'll get two small dead cats for it. Um, links in the description for all this stuff. And I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, talk to you again real soon.